intracerebral hemorrhage which is bleeding into the brain tissue is the second most common cause of stroke accounting for 15 to 30% and it is most deadly its mortality rate is high and most survivors experience significant disability Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news I am Dr Nandita Mohan and I have an interesting study to discuss with you all today it talks about the risk factors linked to mortality and neurologic disability after intracerebral hemorrhage lifestyle habits and culture are three main traditional risk factors associated with neurologic disability and mortality after an intracerebral hemorrhage Its association however with differences by race or ethnicity is not quite known clearly. A new study validates two commonly used prognostic scores for neurological disability or even death after intracerebral hemorrhage and it identifies several additional factors associated with poor outcomes. The researchers screened individual characteristics for their association with a 90 day outcome of neurologic disability or mortality and a notable absence as a risk factor for poor outcomes was anticoagulant use at the time of admission. race ethnicity however were not independently associated with outcomes the additional risk factors identified in this analysis may be clinically useful to treating physicians to improve on the estimations of outcomes beyond the traditional scores and the study also stressed upon the fact that clinicians should also resist the urge to provide precise outcome prognosis at onset or probably even early after an ICH has occurred that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for further updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon